Tark! Over here! Look! Over there! Daddy, these girls taught me a new game. <laughs> Do you want to play, mister? I understand what we just saw there, but I don't ever want to see it again. Did you kill your children, or did this place somehow do it? Like it has taken mine. These are black times. It hurts too much to stop and think about it. We must keep going. You made Vamanos. Where are you? Don't going? you want to stay? No, please don't leave. We want you to be here with us. Mira! 
Those fucking creatures, they've trapped us! It looks like our time has come! We'll never make it out of here alive. Don't you want to stay? We are done for. This smoke will kill us soon. I think the fire is coming closer. It is horrible to die this way after surviving so long. I will never see my Consuela again. Dios mío. A miracle. The fire is out. Again you prove yourself. Come on, we must get to town. Mala suerte! The road is out! Inmate! Watch out! That truck is on fire! Some help. In the lighthouse, you showed me just how good a killer you really are. But you don't know anything. Go on to the dock, where you'll see how things really are. What Diablo was that? Well, at least we can make it across now. Come on!
Professional! Holy Mary, Mother of God. Look, the town, it burns! My family, if they are still there, it is too terrible to think of. What has happened to this island? We must get to the town somehow! I must find Consuela! The town. Built on the site of the Puritan village of Goodsmouth, this town is home to nearly 30 corrections officers and their families. It has a single dilapidated general store, a small overgrown park, and a church that for as long as anyone can remember has had no minister. It is generally agreed that no one would live in this depressing place were it not for the daunting distance back to the mainland and lack of ferry service. You're a father, right? Or were a father? Keep looking! You go on, inmate! Meet the Coast Guard at the docks! I will meet you there later! You gave him the chance you never had. Diagnosis is complete. Your cure is at hand. You might think my methods a bit unorthodox, but my results will speak for themselves. Ahead you will encounter something altogether unlike what you've seen before. But I have something that can help you. A device that can cure you. Put your demons to rest. But only if it is sufficiently powered. And only if you are in your more, shall we say, primal form. Use this correctly, and you cannot help but be cured. You do want to be cured, don't you, talk? It's up to you now. The docks. 
The only functional dock remaining on Carnate, this is the sole point of entry for inmates and their visitors, as well as corrections officers, and those of us who happen to be married to them. I remember the first day I came to Carnate. It was raining in sheets, and the ship had trouble docking. I remember thinking the island didn't want us coming here. I've long thought it would have been better if we had turned back then. The man was wearing black clothes. He was like a shadow. I didn't see him, and then he was there. Oh, Daddy, I wish you could have been there. I know you would have kept us safe. Dad, you couldn't keep us safe forever. I just wish I could have said goodbye.
always had the worst luck, T. We didn't work out for so long. And when we got close, it all got taken away. You'd never hurt us. Not on purpose. No matter how angry you got at the world, you always loved me and the boys. Now's the time, T. You need to face down the anger you have inside. Remember, I'm right there with you. briefly saw this enormous creature a single time, near the docks. I cannot even begin to describe him, save for one thing. He seems to be quite literally connected to an inmate, the convicted killer, Torque. Incredible as it may sound, this creature appears to have a miniature version of Torque attached to him via a long umbilicus. Beyond that, I can only say that I view him as the most evil of all the creatures. A pure manifestation of fury and hatred.
sends his regards. Back in Eastern, he warned you, but you didn't listen. He said to leave you alive. Only you. Enjoy your new life. Get on board, quick! I don't know what the hell's happened, but we gotta get out of here. Another boat's coming to pick up anybody else who's left. Hold on! You're that guy Torque, ain't you? I heard about you in the news. I got a friend at the DA's office. Says the prosecutor on your case is being indicted. Says you probably get a new trial. Guess it's your lucky day, huh? Jesus. You look like you've really been through hell. Somebody's missing from this picture, T. I don't want us to ever be apart again. Love always, Carmen. Tork's family. In one of my other entries, I discuss Tork, the notorious inmate who seems at ease dispatching these creatures. I recall seeing in the sun a picture of the man's ex-wife and two boys, and I have drawn it here from memory. I remember they were a beautiful family, and it seems unbelievable that any man so blessed would have the audacity to kill them so savagely. But as we all know, beauty alone is often not enough. 